The first American spaceflight to have more than one astronaut in a capsule alone was Gemini 3 on March 23rd of 1965. The crew was Mercury veteran Gus Grissom and rookie astronaut John Young, and their primary goal was to test out this new maneuverable spacecraft because the Gemini spacecraft was the first one that NASA developed that could actually change its orbit. The Mercury spacecraft kind of got into orbit and it stayed there. It didn't have enough power on board to actually go up or down or translate in its orbit. The Gemini spacecraft did. The flight wasn't very long. It was less than five hours, but that was long enough for the crew to make the first ever orbital maneuvers that was leading NASA into orbital rendezvous. That was something they were going to need going to the moon. Gemini 3 also tested new foods that astronauts would take on longer missions, and also one food that they would never take again. John Young snuck up a corned beef sandwich on rye, given to him by Mercury astronaut Wally Shira to surprise Gus Grissom, who took one bite, then realized that the crumbs were going to get everywhere, so stowed the sandwich. The flight was short, but it was a stunning success, and it started NASA really learning how to live and work in space. The fantastic author behind Apollo 13 and Apollo 8, Jeff Kluger, just wrote a new book about the Gemini program. As someone who is both a fan of the Gemini program and Jeff, strongly recommend if you want to get a fantastic look into this amazing spaceflight program.